All right. Well, Bear's eating a little bit. I gave him some treats. First time today he's actually eating something. He's still got a little bit of swollen stuff going on. But, uh, you know, me, I'm on the new antibiotics. I shouldn't even have a beer, but I'm having a couple because this fucking day kicked my ass. I haven't eaten all day. The fucking, not that I can't stand to lose some weight, but <laughs> it's not good, you know. But at least he's eating. Yeah, he's a tough son of a bitch. Take a bite from I don't know what snake it was. I don't know. I didn't think to grab my phone. I was more consumed with, with hurrying up to get the fucking dogs in before the snake turned around and started going after them and shit. God, I hate snakes. People that keep snakes as pets should be euthanized. That's all I'm saying. Something wrong with you. Just kidding. But that's how I feel inside. Hey, that's Ozzy, huh? This went out, they had to go pee, and I grabbed my shovel and my fucking, my cloud defensive MCH, and I'm walking around like this. I'm gonna buy a fucking flamethrower next, fuck it. I gotta figure out a way to put barriers around this whole fence that will negate anything from coming through. There's too many gaps everywhere. We'll call a fence guy, he came. We put the main fence in. Dogs were pissed on the two brand new ACs. They they killed this one. I had to put a whole new uh, a whole new what you call it there? Seven hundred bucks Compre uh, coil. Whole new coil. Uh, called them back again. Said I want these secondary fences put up. We got to come up with something to stop the dogs from peeing on the ACs. It's too expensive. I'm calling back again. Say, look, I want a trench dug in front of the entire, at least the back fence. Front, the front section, I'm not too worried about, but we'll probably have them do the whole thing so they can't creep in from the side and then make their way under this gate. Look at my Beverly Hillbillies in this bitch fucking with all the fencing. You gotta go through eight layers of fence to get to my backyard. <laughs> you just put fucking Iris scans and fucking handprint authorization, fucking authentication there. Snakes right through. So we, we gotta solve that snake problem. Why am I dipping my head down? There we go. So I thought I'd have a beer. Thought I'd drink a little, just a little bit. Uh, and it's a beautiful, tasty, still Artois. Fuck the pores, America. Fuck yeah. So, you know, I get frustrated with veterinarian science as a whole. The people I encounter, they, they just they piss me off. You know, I love my dogs like they're my kids. I don't have kids. I never will have kids. So basically, they're like my kids. So whenever there's, they're hurt, there's something wrong with them, I flip the fuck out. I calm down. I say, all right, that's solve the problem. But, of course, you're worried, you know. You want them to be okay. They're going to die eventually of natural causes. Hopefully not till they're 13, 14. Hopefully they set records and live 15, 16. It's not realistic, but that's what I'm hoping. But something like that, getting taken down by a fucking reptile, is probably an illegal, trying to creep through the border, going after my boys, when they're just out there doing their thing, you know. That ain't going to fly. I'll buy a fucking one of those flamethrowers. Like I said, I want to get a good 22 with a dead air mask. Put that fucker on there. So if I have to cap something that's that's trying to hurt them, uh, I can do so without getting in trouble. Probably still get in trouble for that. I'm not going to do that. I, I have no intention on shooting a 22 on my property. I'll go to the range like a responsible American. Good times. Also, no pistol braces. I don't even show to them. I just hold it out like this, you know, Doof! because that's the way the rules and laws are stated. <laughs> no, seriously. But he's eating some treats. Looks a little better. It's swollen. Got the jowls going. Looks like he swallowed a couple tangerines. Hope it goes down. Uh, my best bet, Monday, call the regular joint when they're open again. Who knows if they have an actual vet there. 
Sometimes they don't for like two months. So who knows? Uh, let them know what happened. They just saw him a week and a half ago and doped him up. So if I have to get more pills to dope him up for them to go back and run a blood scan to make sure there's no bacteria and organs or some side effect of the bite, we can do that. At least I can get them all kind of like a mellow yellow vibe. It's amazing how ferocious he acts with that muzzle. He, he looked right at me with bloodshot eyes. And he's like, motherfucker, I will bite you. I don't give a fuck. And I'm daddy. I give him everything. Love, affection, treats all day long. You know, so you can tell he's he's triggered when it comes to that muzzle. So, anyway, all right, so. It looks pretty good, so I'm going to calm down about it. I'm just, I worry about my boys. I love my boys very much. They're my babies. All my dogs have been my babies. And I, you know, I get crazy when, when they're sick or hurt. But like any parent would when their kid's sick or hurt. Pretty much same reaction. And lately, equally as expensive. Maybe not quite, but. All right, I'm going to sip on a few cold Stella Artois, because fuck the pores. Get out there and be somebody. And uh, the Duck BCG showed up in the middle of all this today. I just, when I came back from the first run, it was sitting in front of the door. I just threw it in the gun room and kept going. <laughs> we don't care about this right now. But we're going to go fondle some dims in a little bit. End the day in a positive note. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's it. Peace. Stella Artois. Yeah.